bonus footage. All right, so I have this concept here. It's like this power box. And what I want to do is add some of these text to it. And I want it to show through the normal map. So what I did here is added some text in Photoshop. I'm going to double click on it. And go into Bevel and Boss. Okay, I'm going to use the following settings for Bevel and Emboss. I just want to up the depth a little bit so it has some shine. Okay. I'm going to move the glimmer point here. And that's about it. Let's hit OK. All right. Next. I'm going to make a duplicate copy of it so I don't screw it up and then flip it around. Okay, this will sh change the glimmer point to the top because my box is actually upside down here. This is my hinge. Okay, I'm going to go filter. Go to the move tool, hit apply first. Then go filter, NVIDIA tools, normal map filter. And I want to hit OK to this. Use multiple layers, hit a scale of 6, and hit OK. Alright, so there we go. I added some text. And now what I want to do is go and choose Overlay. This will add it to the original. And I also want to double click on it and turn off the B channel. This way it will not use blue. I don't want it to use blue at all. I just want it to add to the original blue. I'm going to hit save as. And we're going to save this as TGA normal map detail. 24 pixels. And then we're going to look at here. And hit reload. There we go. I now have that text written on it. Very cool. I don't know what it says, but it's pretty cool. I can also move that around wherever I want, so I can scooch it over a little bit and save. Now there is some other artifacts on here. They got these, these little stripes. Okay, I could do those also. It's the same bevel and emboss. So if you could do it with black lines, you're good to go. Basically, you take black, here's your line tool, you use pixels, I think you can even choose um, the end point. Maybe not. I think concavity is what it is. Let's put it at 1%. So what I'm going to do is draw a line. And then I could take that line and use Alt to click and drag more lines out. I could use the arrow tool to space them. And if I grab all three of them and use Alt, I can go like this. Okay. What I can then do is grab the bevel and emboss and copy it. So I'll copy layer style. Take all these layers and hit Control E to merge them down into one and then right click paste layer style. I'm just going to have to adjust it a little bit because right now it's only got a glimmer point here and here at the end so in order for this to work I might have to change the angle of light. In this case I'll put it over here. And then I can go filter, NVIDIA normal map, filter, tools, use multiple layers, in scale of six, hit OK. Again, you should set this on overlay. And again, double click on it to remove the B channel. Another thing you could do is remove the effect altogether, but I kind of like the height that prevails, so I leave it alone. File. Save as, TGA, detail, save.
So this is these are great ways to add to a normal map. Cool. I just had to get it centered right. That's the only bad thing about it. What I wanted to show you that is a workflow as an extra bonus bonus footage. It's very easy concept, but sometimes I you know I don't see it being uh, used very often. And you can use any kind of font. The lines really do a good job if you're developing weapons and stuff. If you're looking for a texture to put on top of things, that's awesome. Uh, shapes also work, so I can drag out whole shapes and set the width of it just a little higher. I can make cones for spikes or indents using squares. All right, enjoy the little lesson and let's go on with the series.